Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can do a workflow diagram. So you can see I've got one on the screen at the moment, which is an induction. Uh, you've got reception, interview, place offered, etc, etc. So that's what I'm going to recreate from scratch. So this is part of the business section. So if I go file new, mine is sitting up there because I've just used it, but it lives in the business section. If you click on business and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, you've got workflow diagram 3D. So I'll just create a blank one. There we go. So on the left, you've got your stencils. So you've got objects, steps, and departments, like so. So basically, you pull out the um, shape that you want. So what I want to do, I want to pull out the shapes. So I'll have my little person. Now the, the sheets are the wrong way around. So I need to, on the design tab, I just want to put this to landscape. So this is my new person that's going to be inducted. So I have my person there. So now I want to find a reception shape. So I'm looking down here for the reception. These are the steps. Um, I do want agreement and I do want meetings, so I'll just pull these on now. So I've already got them on the screen and none of those. And let's go up to the department. So what I need in here is reception. I need finance. I need HR. And I need warehouse. warehouse so i'm going to use that that's going to be the last step and payroll i need i had it as financing on the other one but i'm just going to pull that there there's reception so that's my second step so reception so the guy comes in meets reception gets approved has a team meeting you can see it's getting lined up as, as i go along now I want to meet, after the team meeting, I want him to meet um, the CEO or the board of directors. Board of directors will do, that will be more intimidating. You can meet the board of directors. After that, he needs to go to HR and then payroll. And then this one is operations and then he gets allocated work like so. Now all these steps, I want to use the shape data to um, give some instructions. So I'll just label this up person, if I better call it new person, new person, double click in, this is reception. This is the approval status or stage team meeting and then meet the board of directors or meet the boss. I'll put the CEO HR HR had user finance or payroll add payroll and operations job allocation and then this one is start work work so now i just need to come back down a little bit so I can see what these are and then link them all up. So back to home, connector from him. So these are doing shape to shape connectors. That's why the whole thing's going green, but it's straight easy. Just let go and connect them all up. So it's a normal flow like so. And then not the connector tool off, back onto the pointer tool. Just move these if you need to line them up a bit. If they're not lined up, go left a bit for that one. 
uh, if I go to the view tab, um, I can put the grid on. Makes it, sometimes it makes it easy for you to, to line that. Now what I've got on this right hand side is the shape data panel or pane. So if I go to data, um, you can see shape data window is ticked. If I take it off, then it's back on again. So what I want to use the shape data for is not to store data, it's just to give instructions and I want this to be docked there. So for ex uh, reception, there is no shape data when you click on reception and there's no shape data for any of these. So just right click on it, go down to data, define shape data. So um, arrange. So the first step is reception and then arrange interview. And then you want that to be a variable list and I want that to be yes or no. So you put yes, semicolon, no. Okay, and then it's on yes, but if you drop the arrow down, you can select no. So it would be on no, but should, if this is going to be saved as a template, you want it to be set to no to start off with, but now I'm going to put that to yes. So the meeting, um, this one, um, shape data, um, job allocated, or offered, should I say, job offered. Again, this is going to be a variable list. Yes, no. Click OK to that one. And it's on yes. And then team meeting. This is going to be shape data. Team allocated. And again, yes, no. Variable list, yes, no. You just go through the whole thing doing it like this. Now, meeting the CEO doesn't need any shape data. HR, um, that's going to be added to database. Yes, no. Semicolon, no. Okay. Payroll, same thing. Added to payroll. Data. Define to payroll, yes, no. You can add as many options as you want there. Um, just separate them with a semicolon. Okay, to that one. Operations manager, shape data. And team allocated yes no so you don't normally use the shape data like this but it's just another use of it normally it's used to store database information and then that's it so there's all the steps with the yes no option apart from that one yes no uh, so there's a code on look so i did that one wrong and i did a typo so i'll just go and correct that data Define shape data, so yes, S, colon, semicolon you need. And then OK. Then it's just yes, no now. I don't want that one there. No, there's always one that plays up, so I'll just see if I can get rid of that. Don't want that one. Okay, that's it. Now what I want to do is put a title on this. So on the design tab, you've got borders and titles. So I'll pick a simple one. And then you see that this now border, the title comes into a background page. So for me to edit the title, I'll have to go into the background page. That's what happens. So I'm on page one, which I'll just call induction. In the background page, I can put the title, call that induction process. It's got today's date on it. It's blank. Come back to the first page. All these shapes need to move down. So I just need to highlight them all if I've got them. Nope.
No, so I'm getting half of them, just do control A would be quicker and just knock it down. So I've put it center. Now I want to put a background on this. So same place, you've got backgrounds, different colors, but I want to just put this world color on. Everybody likes that. And again, you get a background page. And you can change the color on that if you want. I'll leave it as, I'll leave it as that. Go back to the induction. So basically that's how you create the 3D induction process using the workflow diagrams. And uh, putting a title and a background. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one.